Let's go to my panel. Former Labor Senator Stephen Conroy and former Victorian Liberal Party President Michael Kroger join me to discuss the big issues. I might start on supermarkets uh, because, look, Stephen Conroy, you know that in government, once you identify a problem and you have these reviews, that means you own it. And I was hearing yesterday the Prime Minister and others say, we'll increase prices that suppliers get and bring down the prices that shoppers pay. That's going to be difficult to land, isn't it? Well, look, uh, as, I, uh, as I've said, Craig, Craig Everson was a, a tutor of mine at uh, ANU uh, many, many, many years ago. So it's hard to disagree with a good friend uh, and his analysis of what needs to be done. Right? Also, uh, for full transparency, doing some work with Woolworths uh, around the uh, Senate inquiries. So, uh, but I think that you know, the Prime Minister has rightly identified cost of living pressures, and that meant has meant the spotlight has been on uh, the supermarket sector. I think the recommendations that Craig's put forward are sensible, they're well thought out, they're reasoned, uh, and they expose some of the more frivolous uh, efforts being made by you know the Greens who are just you know going for the very cheap populist, even though it will actually lead to higher prices uh, arguments. And the National Party have been engaged in that. Couple of months. Yeah, the, what he's doing, um, you know, could well be the, the mix. I'm just not necessarily convinced you can achieve the nirvana, but maybe I'll be wrong and uh, you know, always happy to say so if that happens. Michael, what about the coalition on this? Was this, did you think Peter Dutton just having a little bit of a check on David Little Proud's? powers or the way the Nationals often sort of lead out and they just arrive at a policy position while the Liberal Party still seems to be figuring out what to do. And I'm talking about the divestiture element of this. Yeah, of course. Well, sometimes the National Party leads out and we follow, such as The Voice, uh, where Little Proud was basically the first person out there. So I give him great credit for that. Uh, on this issue, uh, I'm not so sure that divestiture is the right way to go. Uh, what, Coles might be forced to divest one supermarket somewhere because of some behaviour in Toowoomba, but then again, Woolworths are forced to divest somewhere in Dalkeith in Western Australia and Coles take that. I mean, this this is just a never ending um, sideshow, this, you know, divestiture. So I don't think that's appropriate. But the ACCC are conducting an inquiry. It's reporting early next year. The best way forward is to produce a document without naming the suppliers, without naming the companies but giving the community a general understanding of farm gate price to retail price, what happens in the supply chain and the margins between the growers and the end retailers so people can see what kind of margins are being charged. Otherwise, none of us have got every idea, any idea at all. Uh, are Coles and Woolies charging reasonable markups or are they completely unreasonable compared to international competitors? Um, are the growers right? I suspect the growers are right. They're being heavily screwed by the majors. I suspect that very strongly. But if we see the margins, then everyone can get out of the fog and get an understanding of what is actually going on. Because at the minute, Tom, we've really got no idea. There's no transparency yeah. at all on this.